Hello everybody and welcome to my channel, Love, Truth, and Wisdom Tarot Guidance. My name is Sharnetta. I hope you all are having an enjoyable day, evening, afternoon, wherever you are, and I hope you all are doing well. So today I'm here to bring you another pick a card reading, and today we are asking the question, where does your person see this relationship headed? Um, so whatever person you have on your mind right now, we will be looking into where they see this relationship headed. So we have three piles here to choose from. We have the first pile here with the blue lace agate stone. We have the third pile here with the fluorite crystal. And we have the third pile here with the amethyst. So feel free to pick more than one if you feel guided to do so. Keep in mind that this is a general reading. So um, just take what resonates and leave the rest. Do not make it fit if it doesn't fit. Um, I am available to do personal reading, so that information will be down below if you feel guided to get a personal reading from me, as well as my Instagram, if you want to follow me over there, my Etsy shop, where I offer other readings, and all my artwork and stuff is over there, and if you feel guided to get a natal chart reading, um, my personal astrologer's website link is down below, she is taking new clients, so you can check that out um so yeah so i just wanted to say also um thank you all for liking sharing subscribing supporting my channel in any way you feel guided to do so i really appreciate it honestly all of you like you guys are so great and loving and nice and kind and supportive and i just appreciate every single one of you i would not be here if it weren't for you guys so thank you so much for your trust your time your patience just everything just everything i'm just i'm very appreciative so um yeah so without further ado here let's get on to your reading hello pile one if you chose the blue lace agate stone this is your reading for where does your person see this relationship headed okay so this one is a little complicated i feel honestly um your person has a lot of deep rooted like regret and they're very in like two minds about you and this whole situation they can't see that far ahead because this person is dealing with like a lot of i feel like emotional um well yeah regret but like a lot of emotional things are coming up for this person and we do have the five of cups here um this person regrets how they treated you i feel like that's where the emotions are coming from this person feels like they don't deserve you at all they feel like they really messed up they feel like there's nothing they could do to to show you or tell you how much they are sorry or that they want to start over i feel like this person um definitely in two minds this person is like but this person still is wanting like to keep you at a distance like they don't want to get too close to you and i feel like it has a lot to do with this person like dealing with a lot of regret it has nothing to do with this like in terms of like this person's love for you because i do feel like this person is very attracted to you and they love you so much but they also i feel like have hurt you so much and that's where they're at right now they're just in a place where they're just like i they haven't forgiven themselves for what they've done to you to this relationship and this connection and i just feel like this person is having a hard time trusting in true love trusting in love trusting their feelings trusting that they can have another chance with you trusting that you want another chance with them um because i feel like at, sometimes this person wants to make an effort and reach out to you and tell you what's going on or how they feeling and then the next minute they're just like they're they will never listen to me they won't understand they don't want to hear from me they don't like me anymore they don't love me anymore something like that and i also feel like you like have been really working within um and your person is picking up on this and i feel like it's like you are being more you are feeling more connected to your heart space and you're able to like express your feelings or be open to um receiving someone express their feelings to you you're very clear about how you feel and i feel like they're definitely picking up on that energy especially with luminosity i just feel like they're picking up on your vibe like how you're vibing right now like your feminine energy and it's making them feel weaker it's making them feel worse and it's not because you're doing anything bad it's not because of you it's because this person had a, has a lot of deep rooted regrets that they have buried very very deep and because you are you know sending them so much positive vibes energies and you're opening your heart this person is like has no choice but to open their heart but with them opening their heart comes up a lot of dark other dark feelings like 
like regret, shame, guilt, um, fear. Just it, it it triggers it triggers them basically. But it triggers them for a reason because this person has been avoiding their own healing, their own clearing, their own like um, attachments to things that are very unhealthy, especially in their mind. This person can get very like overly logical or overanalyze or very judgmental, very critical at times um, when it comes to you, this connection. But most importantly, when it comes to them and how they feel about you and how they how they feel in general, this person is not used to expressing their feelings. They always feel like there's some type of string attached. When we do have strings here, they always feel like it's conditional or, you know, it's like this person just has a very negative belief system around expressing feelings and making that effort. And instead of like trying to overcome that, trying to stop those beliefs, they just kind of give up as a whole. And I just, that's the vibe I'm picking up. Like your person just feels like they have to give up. They don't want to necessarily, but they feel like they have no choice because your person can't deal with like all this regret and shame and guilt for the from the past that they have left unhealed you know not on it not acknowledge like this person owes you an apology and they're like avoiding it like the plague honestly and it's not because they don't think you deserve an apology it has nothing to do with you it just it has to do with this person and it's like they feel very they don't like feeling vulnerable they don't like feeling open they don't like feeling like they messed up like they made a mistake even though they have we all do obviously we're human but this person has a hard time with that because they feel like well now I'm not in control now you know this person they have control over my feelings now because they know how much I miss them and love them and need them it's like this person still has a very negative self-talk around love and expression of love and feelings and emotions and stuff like that and you're triggering this up in them because it needs to be released but it's still in the process of being released they don't like feeling it because you're doing so well they don't like feeling like 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 open-hearted it makes them very uncomfortable it makes them very like um critical they don't trust it and it's in it's like this person is very can be very negative i feel like this person can be very negative or just has been in this very negative self space when it comes to like love and this connection and even though you've been creating i feel like a positive space for them they're not they're not receiving it that way because this person has a lot of dark stuff like shadow stuff that needs to come out and come out right now and um so i do feel like spirit is saying like you need to make yourself a response you may you need to make yourself like your first top priority like you're responsible for yourself you're responsible for your feelings your person is too they're having a hard time with that as well to like some degree i'm feeling um i feel like the feminine energy like has let go of a lot of old patterns that have taken over them or like a lot of like old like micromanaging ways or insisting things be done like a certain way and i feel like your person is definitely picking up on that and it's creating a lot of turmoil within them a lot of trauma but it's it's a good thing because you're triggering this person you're highly connected to this person this could definitely be your divine counterpart or twin flame i wanted to say um doesn't have to be but you're definitely you have a deep connection with this person a deep soul connection with this person and it is it's and it's triggering them because spirit is needing them to pay attention to this it's urging it's urging them to pay attention to their lack mentality to their victimhood to their regrets to their sorrow to their pain that they have caused others that have been caused onto them as well and they've been avoiding it like i said so it's like the more that you feel confident in yourself the more that this person feels worse and they can only live in that energy for so long until they have to do something about it but i definitely feel like that's what's going on here right now like you both naturally are attracted to one another you both complement each other you both support and nurture each other um always and this is just one of those ways where it's not necessarily the most comfortable you know it's just kind of um you know, we have to bring up all that shadow stuff, all that, you know, gunky stuff if we want to be open to love fully, if we want to love from a place of courage and freedom and acceptance instead of fear. So I definitely feel like that's what's going on with your person, which is why they just don't know where this is headed. It's not like it's an, it's like they don't want it to be. It's I'm not getting that vibe. This person is very much stuck in like a mental kind of prison and they're just they they can't see that far ahead they don't know where they want it to go because this person doesn't know what's going on with them why they're feeling all of this all of a sudden why they're feeling so much 
hate, anger, pain, sadness, why they're feeling out of control, why they're feeling like they want to make an effort towards you, but then they don't. It's like this person, like I said, knows they want to, they owe you some type of explanation or apology, but then they feel like, you know, like I said, what's the point? It's like this person needs to have more faith and trust in themselves and they don't have faith in the situation right now to an extent they don't have faith in them because this person does not trust does not trust themselves and does not trust you know yeah point blank like this person doesn't trust themselves and this person like I said is attracted to you but it's like that's not enough at this point because this person um I'm just hearing like took you for granted and they really regret that because they know how much deep down you mean to them and they're really wishing they could take back certain things and take back certain efforts or certain actions and things they've said to you in the past but this person is just really like doesn't know what move to make doesn't know what the right move is in regards to you in this situation and with the strings card here number 19 this is about wanting to detach wanting to be free but also it speaks about having a fear of commitment and wanting things to stay the same, wanting things to be casual um, or even like maybe platonic in a friend level. But it's like this person's very confused. I'm not going to lie. I'm not exactly loving the energy I'm picking up from them just because and I feel for them and I'm, I'm going to send I'm sending them so much love and light because this person is really going through a really difficult time right now and they just feel so lost and so alone and they just feel like they don't deserve you they don't deserve love they don't deserve any of this you don't deserve any of this you didn't deserve any of that is what i'm hearing and this person is just really um questioning their motives questioning people's motives questioning your motives like this person's questioning a lot of things and it's like this person just does not want to be in a relationship i feel like right now like that's the vibe it's like they don't want to be in a committed relationship right now they can't be in a committed relationship right now first and foremost just because they're not in a place where that's even feasible but they feel like they don't want to be and it's it's more than likely obviously because they're feeling this way and um they're feeling like they just can't make the effort they want so i'm not going to make any effort at all type of vibe and your person right now i feel like is just looking for fun is just kind of looking to have fun and and to if anything have a certain level of friendship with you right now because any type of romantic effort or gesture is just kind of not feasible for them it's it's just something that they can't really grasp because this person is really i feel like honestly being tormented by their own past mistakes and regrets and that is something that they have to get themselves out of it's nothing really you can do besides just keep doing what you're doing um because eventually that light will shine within your person will shine on your person and they will be able to see clearly like okay what moves they can make you know how they can rectify this how they can reconcile with themselves and with you so i would just say keep doing what you're doing and then with this effort card being in reverse it is thir number 34 which reduces to a seven this is like in reverse it speaks about neglect it, it speaks about not trying like giving up on your love life giving up on your relationship so i definitely feel like this person is in this place where they have given up on any type of romantic relationship with you to be honest and this is not because this person doesn't love you doesn't care about you it's just because they have to deal with a lot of pain of, of a lot of a lot of the pain that they've caused you that they've caused to themselves they have a lot of inner reflection self-reflection to do they have a lot of trust issues they need to deal with that have nothing to do with you this none of this has anything to do with you you're just triggering it more in this person because you're both energetically connected and they're gonna feel when you are shifting from a higher place or a higher vibrational place and even if you don't feel this way like you're doing that um spirit is indicating that you do do that and that um you continue like i said to focus on yourself and just continue focusing on what you want to grow what you want to achieve because i feel like if if you feel like you're not in this luminosity type of place you're transforming into that place and your person is is not handling that too well so they're definitely in this place where they are hiding i feel like from you a little bit where they are feeling like um they're hiding from you they feel neglected from you they feel they just don't feel good and it's like they're looking for someone to blame but spirit is always going to point 
the finger back at them and they don't like that so I feel like this person is just like yeah they just they don't see it headed anywhere like serious commitment type stuff um if anything they're seeing it they're seeing you or this relationship headed in a place where you both can be cordial um you both can be like platonic friends right now because until this person says what they have to say in terms of like making effort to like apologize or explain to you they're not gonna want to be around you physically because you remind them of like their past so this person is in the process in a cycle of of dredging up their past right now which is good it means they're ascending but this is not the no one likes this space and i feel like you understand because you've been in that space we all have been in that space in terms of like our ascension process and like when we're evolving spiritually like we all have to come to the stop where we realize where we fucked up you know where we um where we caused someone else pain where we've caused ourselves pain where we have a lot of regret for our choices so this person is in that place whether you're familiar with it or not i feel like you are or you're in that place too but you're on your way out your person is still stuck in it because um it's like weighing heavy on their conscious and it's it's just really illuminating a lot of stuff and they just they have not been able to forgive themselves they feel like they can't forgive themselves so they're just like we can't be together until I come to terms with what I've done we can't have anything more than like a platonic type of attraction to one another until like and this person is like not just platonically attracted to you but romantically attracted to you but they don't want to deal with that because it's like they just can't it's like they're pushing it away they're shoving it away they're just like nope that doesn't exist I can't do that right now because I'm in a lot of pain about what I've done breadcrumbing gaslighting I'm feeling just you know paying attention to other people other things outside influences other interferences um they just they don't like how they treated you they don't like looking back at their memories and looking back at the ones where they feel like they could have done better that was mean or like you know that was painful or hurtful to you they don't like being responsible for that for your pain and it's not like they're not but they didn't i mean we're all responsible for our own feelings but this person did you know did hurt you and i feel like they're having a tough time with that with taking responsibility for that so until that happens your person is not in a place where they can really see where this relationship is headed right now so yeah because right now they just feel like they don't deserve you at all like i said so that is what i see for you guys so i'm gonna leave it here so i hope this was helpful i hope this provided you some type of guidance and clarity to your situation if not feel free to pick another pile if you feel guided to do so i'm sending you all so much love and light thank you for watching and i will talk to you all later take care Hello Pile 2 and welcome to your reading. If you chose the fluorite crystal, this is your reading for where does your person see this relationship headed. Uh, okay, so not as intense as pile number one, but kind of the same theme I guess going on here. Your person has a lot of fears, honestly. Your person is very scared and I feel like this is something they want to tell you. This person has a very serious fear of commitment we have the commitment card in reverse we have the different differences what is that yeah differences in reverse and then we have codependency and we have codependency here twice so i feel like this is something you both deal with you both are very codependent on each other or have been in the past in this relationship and your person is very scared of that they are aware of the codependencies i feel like you both are but they also are like calling in for a new beginning calling in for a new change calling in for for, for 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 something new this person wants to get past that i feel like you both have a fear of like abandonment a fear of intimacy a fear of um and it just comes from a place of lack or like a place of like a lack of self-love a lack of self-care a lack of self worth self-appreciation all of that stuff like you both really are being guided to um get into balance with this manifestation here which is a beautiful card i love this card so this card speaks about connecting with the energy that is available to you and connecting to the universe um following it's about being bringing into balance your heart solar plexus and navel chakra since she has like the figure eight the infinity symbol in those areas 
so the heart chakra the the sacral chakra and the solar plexus um into alignment so that it can work for you because right now like this isn't working for either one of you i feel and i feel like this is like a simple or just seems like a simple fix but for both of you i feel like this is quite hard or complicated or challenging because it's something that either you both are not used to it's you feel you or your person feels like it's taking too long or it's not working because you're not seeing a change within your person and spirit is really wanting you it, it's like particularly with your heart chakra spirit is really wanting you to get in tune to your heart's desires and get in tune to your intuition um because there's like a there's a riff going on in there there's there's some type of riff going on within those three chakras but particularly your heart chakra and I feel like it's becoming difficult or you're having difficulties, especially your person's having difficulties. Your person's having difficulties like visualizing or feeling anything in those three areas. And I feel like they feel really sluggish or heavy or weak or very emotional. Um, and I feel like you could be picking up on that energy as well. And it's because those three chakras are out of balance. So I definitely feel like there needs to be some balancing of those chakras. So maybe listen to some chakra meditations on YouTube. Um, in in with those with those three chakras i also feel like there's a need to get more sleep because i feel like through sleep you both are really well we all do but you both really connect to your you recharge your energy you recharge your chakras you connect to your source and i feel like there's a lack of sleep here like um you both aren't getting enough sleep or proper sleep or something like that um, I'm also getting a message here about your intentions and your willingness, especially with your person. So, which is weird because I'm picking up a lot of you, the viewer's energy, than your person. I feel like your person is definitely picking up on these energies as well that I'm speaking about. But there's there's a moan, there's a there's a serious focus on you right now because I feel like you're the one that can help this connection move forward, and you're the one that can help your person break these codependent bonds. Like you're the leader in this type of in this situation right now and something about like your intention and your willingness are, have to be aligned and they're really important factors right now so it's something that you should definitely like not give up on don't give up on your healing don't give up on your like chakra healing and like i said those three chakras are very very important your gut instincts your sacral chakra is where you hold all your um is where codependency comes from naturally so that's another really important chakra like all three of them are really important obviously for them to show up here and because this codependency is is really like a f like i'm hearing deafening i don't even know if that's the right word to use deafening your relationship it's like you both can't hear each other you both can't connect to each other without feeling hurt sad pain alone abandoned like this person just gets so fearful when they speak think about either speaking to you seeing you connecting with you committing to you because they they just know that we that you both share codependency with one another and they don't want to do that okay well this is coming in strong and i didn't want to say this but i feel like for some of you or like this person is even starting to want to manifest a new person like they're wanting to like be with someone else because you both are too different you both which is a lie because you both are pretty much the same you're dealing with the same core wounds you're dealing with the same stuff it's just this person's like in a running energy like they're in a runner energy they're they're running from this because they don't want to deal with it it's too hard for them so they're like manifesting or trying to manifest a new person but little do they know that that person's still going to show them their like commitment issues and their codependencies so it's like this person is like going is like really going about this in the wrong way honestly and i feel like you're doing the best that you can but you're struggling with it as well but you are very much more in willing to work on yourself and work on this than your person is definitely what i'm picking up on for some of you not for all of you um for others of you your person does want to work on this they're just very scared to come forward and they're trying to like call you in so that you can reach out to them first but again that is stemming from a codependency because that's stemming from a fear not a place of love um because they really want this new love with you they really want this new start with you but they this fear is stopping them so either way whether this fear is is making your person run away from you or making this person kind of want you to make the first move it's it's very it's very unhealthy and it's very it's affecting your romantic feelings for one another and they 
it's like some of them see this and some of them don't but I'm just it's just there's just like an emotional dependency on one another to like make each other feel good or make each other feel like safe or make each other feel like like you're making it's like this person is is giving not taking responsibility for their feelings and you could be doing the same thing as well not taking responsibility for their happiness their feelings their peace their stability it's like that is an ongoing cycle between you both and i feel like you really are aware you both are aware of it you are more willing and willing to fix it correct it stop it your person is not i feel like they're just there's it's like fear has trapped they're, they're, they're really scared honestly so with this commitment in reverse which is a number five i definitely feel like this i mean first of all this card speaks again about a fear of commitment um it's like broken promises um this person oh, like they just feel like this is way too hard and difficult i'm just getting like such a challenging energy from your person like your person is feeling really really challenged with this the like the um what's the word like it's they're feeling really challenged with the idea of like long-term commitment like like marriage or long-term devotion or like you know engaging in a higher level commitment like making promises like your person is not ready for that i'm getting honestly like emotional immaturity but it's i feel like it's deeper than that because it, it stems from a fear of like maybe what they saw their parents go through or another significant or another significant relationship go through it's like this person has a fear of that and they are wanting something more easy especially with the differences being in reverse they're wanting something where you both just click you both just come together you both are like kind of have the same type of mentality or the same mindset it's like you both are like like this is a situation where i feel like opposites attract like you both are opposite from each other but you're attracted to each other but honestly i don't even think you both are that opposite it, there's just like the code the fear is it was what's kind of repelling you both like not in a, in a certain sense especially your person it's like really like making your person very resistant to wanting to like commit to this commit to you because of this fear that they have going on within them and with this differences being in reverse this is about you know them taking a time out this is also represents separation disagreements but it also represents like wanting to work things out wanting to reconnect wanting to reconcile but they want you to do it first which is why we have codependency coming out after it's like they don't want to take they don't want to make the first move they don't want to be rejected by you or abandoned by you it's like they're really scared they're really wanting you to reach out or, or to have some type of sign that it's okay for them to reach out and honestly i feel like they've been getting signs to reach out but they're wanting like something like physical evidence that you will be open to them because this person definitely wants to be honest with you and they want a new start with you and they really want to manifest a new beginning with you but they're just there's like i can't even tell you the fear i'm getting it's like going throughout my whole body especially those chakra areas and also like my third eye area um, this person is just, and I feel like the fear just stems from them. Like they don't want to be in a disagreement with you. They don't want to, um, be separate from you anymore. Like they don't want to fight and then like not speak to you for days or weeks or months. Like this person is afraid that you're going to repeat a same, the same old cycle and them thinking that way is what's kind of bringing that cycle into the present moment instead of them thinking like, okay, like if we do get into a disagreement, I know how to handle it. I know what I want. I know what the solution is to that, but they're just replaying old scenarios and keeping it present. Does that make sense? And I just feel like this person is starting is just is taking that as a sign that you both are not compatible, which I don't think. Um, and this is coming from like their ego. This is coming from like their logical side. It's not coming from their intuition because their intuition is wanting to work things out with you. It's their logical side that's like wanting to kind of quits and give up on this because it's harder than it should be to them quote unquote and they just like i said would be easier if they explored new options but again that's their ego dominating this whole situation and this person is is i feel like you've been standing your ground i feel like you could be wobbling but you've been really trying really hard to stand your ground with this person in this relationship and wanting to make it work and wanting you both to wanting this person to see your point of view wanting this person to understand you and this person is 
all they can see is disagreement. All they can see is I'm avoiding this disagreement. I don't want to disagree. Um, I, I'm avoiding this obstacle. I don't want there to be obstacles or lessons. I can't take any more lessons or obstacles. Like, um, and this person needs to, they're just like jumping to conclusions before they even know what's going on. So I just feel like this person needs to, they're, they're doing like the blame game, like the victim thing. And they need to really get clear before they reach out and clear in terms of like them connecting to their intuition. Um, cause with the calling in your soulmate, this person's been like calling you like telepathically or, you know, they've been really wanting spirit to send them some type of sign. Like I was saying, but this person has been like praying about seeing you or connecting with you again, affirmations, visualizations, like, but again, like they're doing it from a place. Well, this person has to do it because I'm too scared. I can't, this person has, it's like, you get the gist of what I'm trying to say. And I just feel like your person in terms of like where they see this relationship headed is like, they see it headed in a new way, honestly, but they don't see it happening anytime soon. They don't have to see it happening like in the near future. They feel like it's going to take some time. They feel like they have to get a handle on this or try to understand why they are kind of why they still have codependency issues to begin with and how they can break their their side of it how they can help their side of it how they can like break free from their side because they have no control over your side of what you do so this person needs to get control over themselves and, and kind of understand where this fear of commitment is coming from and like how they operate from that fear like this person is just in a place where they are used to operating from a place of fear instead of love and they have that to kind of figure out and learn but with the chariot here i do feel like they're really they're trying to muster up the willpower i guess to kind of come together with you again but I'm just getting every time I say that I'm just getting I'm hearing I want them to come to me like I really would like them to come to me please don't make me go to them like it's just it's such a deep fear like this person has a lot to work through and um I feel like you're just trying to manifest from a place of love and this person's manifesting from a place of fear and that doesn't mean that you should give up on manifesting from a place of love because like I said I do feel like you're wobbling it just means like do it harder like do it more like you know what I mean like don't give up like persevere like continue to know that what you're doing is working and it's helping it may just be difficult for both of you especially this person but it doesn't mean that it's not working because we do have new love here and regardless if that new love is this person coming in in a new way or you literally manifesting a new person or your person even wanting to manifest a new person because like I said they are keeping that as an option um either way you both will get what you need to you both will manifest what you truly deserve and what you truly desire and this person is manifesting from a place of fear which is why even if they do get this new love it will be very codependent as well until they get the lesson i feel like you will have a new love that is much more vibrational match to you and you're going to break those codependency chains faster than your person i feel like you're already in the midst of breaking them your person not so much they're kind of just running from them so um yeah probably not what you wanted to hear but i feel like you know take what resonates because your person's just not ready to move forward right now but this could change energy is always changing it's always shifting they're just in this fear place and it could just be where i'm catching them right now but like next week or like next month they could be in a total different place they could have gotten a handle on their codependencies or certain things that are affecting their romantic connections with you so just continue doing what you're doing like i said focus on you with this manifestation focus on those three chakras listen to some chakra music as much as you can to kind of ground yourself in that and you will see there's going to be a shift happening soon honestly um so yeah so that is what i see for you guys so i hope this was helpful i hope this provided you with some type of guidance and clarity to your situation if not feel free to pick another pile if you feel guided to do so i'm sending you all so much love and light thank you for watching and i will talk to you all later take care hello pile three and welcome to your reading if you chose the amethyst this is your reading for your um persons where they see this relationship headed um sorry i had a brain <laughs> brain fart okay so where your person sees this relationship headed okay first of all which i don't even know why i had a brain fart because this pile is like the complete opposite 
I'm gonna be honest of the other two piles I read for so this one actually has like a very clear more positive message to it so basically where your person sees this relationship headed with you is in a in, is towards a very serious mature connection with you this person and i highlight i'm as i said mature like maturity was like highlighted so they plan on having a very mature relationship with you one that's like very commit committed um we have wedding and engagement so this is like serious like your person is very serious about you we also have the two of cups we have connection this is like just beautiful energy your person is wanting to reunite with you wanting to connect with you i do feel like your person's been keeping a very close eye on you um just waiting for the right moment to open their heart to you this is something that's very important to them they want to be able to open their heart to you and for you to be able to open your heart to them they want this like new level of like intimacy where it's like vulnerable emotional expression like they want to be able to tell you everything they don't want any secrets between you both they want to be able to like just be feel safe with you and you feel safe with them especially with it's safe for you to love open your heart and give the highest um give and receive the highest energy of all especially with the two of cups here as well so there's a lot of reciprocal energy there's a lot of connection there's a lot of love there's a lot of affection and i feel like it's because there's a lot of self-love your person has mastered self-love to a place where they feel safe enough where they can open their heart to you and not get bogged down by any like details or codependencies or fears of intimacies fears of anything fears of abandonment fears of rejection this person is very mature now than you last spoke to them or last saw them um this person is still maturing but they're in a much mature place um <laughs> than they were the last time you saw them and this person i feel like wants to send you a message or a letter or a text message or something um to like invite you over this person has a plan for like a date night and there's like music playing i also feel like this person could be connecting to you through song um so if you have like random songs pop in your head it's like your person trying to communicate with you i also feel like this is something that you're already aware of like you already know that your person is you and your person are headed towards commitment union like you know it could be marriage for some this person could propose honestly i'm not even like lying like with wedding engagement and the two of cups and connection i'm just getting like propose proposal type of energy like this person wants or they're going to tell you they want marriage with you they want to commit to you they want a long-term devotion with you this person wants something serious with you because they only have eyes for you and they only want to be with you like this person has when i say been keeping a very close eye on you like they've been watching like your social media if you're an influencer of any kind like if you have your own youtube channel or your instagram page or something like that this person has been really like like every day i'm hearing like spying on you like trying to see what you're up to just trying to figure out the best way to approach you to ask you out on this date for you to feel comfortable for them to feel comfortable like this person has something really special planned for the two of you when you both finally come together and it is going to ascend your commitment to one another to a higher level so it could be anything from marriage proposal to moving in together to being boyfriend girlfriend like having that title um whatever the case may be it's just a very mature relationship i'm picking up here and it's it's really important for this person i'm hearing to like open their heart to you because this is something that they struggled with in the past and has been they've it's it's been really hard for them to do that with anyone let alone someone they feel such a deep spiritual soul connection i'm hearing with them in terms like of with you so this person is really like you know wanting to learn how to do that and they're wanting to learn how to do that over dinner um over wine um maybe a walk in the park like it's just really sweet and like caring and like attentive this person wants to bring you more affection and more attention and more care and more love and and kisses and huggles huggles i wanted to say hugs and i wanted to say snuggles clearly this mercury retrograde is going to be a doozy for me okay so this person just wants if they want it to be reciprocal so they know they have to provide you with that level with a certain level of safety because i feel like in the past you've expressed your emotions to this person you've shared your feelings with this person and you know crickets like this person just had a very hard time receiving and giving you anything in return and so now they want to return that favor where it's like i feel like this person doesn't even want anything from you but just your company just your attention just your love just your affection at whatever capacity or level you feel comfortable giving them 
that if that makes sense so this person is very very um serious about you this person yeah just wants a serious connection with you i feel like they've just been waiting with the hanged man here and, and waiting and you both have a very strong bond even if it's been platonic you know for a little bit this person wants to make it more like they don't want to be just friends with you or make it platonic they want something way more with you they want something very very serious with you they want to be able for you both to provide like a certain level of security because we do have security here in reverse and it is a number 41 um which reduces to a number five so this person i feel like in the past has had like security issues maybe financially or just like within themselves in a general sense and since this card is in reverse i do feel like your person has overcome and still has some some you know insecurities to overcome but they have overcome a majority of their insecurities they have really been working on their self-confidence their self-esteem um this person is really wanting to provide you like strong stable security i feel like this person in the past has provided you with a false sense of security or something like that and so they're really wanting to make things right they're really wanting to make things known like they really want it to be known how they feel and, and what they plan on doing moving forward i feel like they're really worried about you as well they're really worried about what you will think what you will expect what you will want from them um more like what you'll think of them doing all of this because this is something really new this is something that you may not be expecting i feel like for most of you are expecting it but it's like expecting it and then actually seeing it is two totally different things so i feel like you're expecting it but you actually going through it like you seeing it is like gonna be like I don't even know who this person is like it's kind of gonna throw you off guard but not in a bad way in like a way where you're like appreciative and you're gonna start feeling comfortable and safe enough to open your heart to this person and express what you've been going through since the last time you both saw each other and just really open create a safe place for you both to love and be yourselves and um, really come together in a really respectful trusting way because I feel like your person still in terms of like their last little bit of insecurity like they have to deal with or work through it's like a trust thing so this person um has a hard time like trusting others with their heart especially if this person is a masculine like this is something that they have never really gotten over but they're wanting to get over that hurdle with you because this person really really loves you and you're someone that's worth fighting for i'm hearing this is a relationship worth fighting for from your person i feel like your person feels like this relationship is really strong and can really strengthen their own self of sense of security um your partner wants to this person wants to be a partner i'm just hearing partner so your person wants to be a partner with to you in any capacity i'm just getting like strong marriage vibes but it doesn't have to be like you know marriage marriage it could just be like this person wants to be your partner in life this person wants to take care of you through the good times and the bad times and they want you to be able to to reciprocate that as well um this person wants to remind you like why they love you why you love them why they're with you this person is just is still building on their self-esteem um but they're in a much better place like i'm hearing like they're two-thirds of the way there so they're in a, a very much better place where they're able to even communicate this to you at all which i do feel like they will be but this person wants to um feel safe with you and make sure that you feel safe with them and that you feel secure with them and what will they feel like this person wants to ask you like what will make you feel safe what will make you feel loved what will make you feel heard what will make you feel understood and like cared for and they're gonna do it this person is very much wanting to be like a mature responsible partner um in in life with you and in love with you like this person just wants they just they really do cherish this connection and i feel like it's been a long road between you both in terms of like learning how to love yourselves this was like the main thing of your connection where you both had to learn how to love yourselves in a very mature way like self-mastery almost and you both are in a very a much more stronger place than you were in the past which is why you both can finally come together and have this union and build from there like i feel like it's just time for you both to come together like you both have been apart long enough is what i'm picking up on and i'm just hearing you both can make beautiful music together also this person wants babies with you and they want a family with you so if that's something you want I definitely feel like your person is on board with that 
um if not this person just wants to make love to you like all night long like every day all the time everywhere like they just beautiful music you're you're making beautiful music this person is very musically inclined i feel also i feel like they really communicate to you through music like this person could like start sending you songs that just remind them of you and them or how they feel about you or something like that like this person has been listening to a lot of music to just kind of get into the vibe of like how they want to approach you how they want to act and behave with you um I feel like you both love music so I feel like they just want to like play your favorite song when you visit them or something or something to just make you feel safe make you feel like you're heard you're being taken care of and that this person loves you that's their main goal right now is to make sure that you feel loved to make sure that you know that they love you that they're here for you that they want something serious with you and I do feel like they're going to make it very known loud and clear you're not going to miss it honestly so I feel you could expect to hear from this person any time like any day now honestly I'm picking up um it could be in two days it could be in three days I'm getting six like within a week yeah definitely within a week or within 10 days you could definitely hear from your person and like your relationship is going to start moving forward in a very stable grounded secure way and yeah you're gonna have like a higher level of commitment with this person this is beautiful okay I love this so yeah that is what they that is what they see so I'm gonna leave it here um I hope this provided you with oh sorry um clarity and guidance to your situation if not feel free to pick another pile if you feel guided to do so i am sending you all so much love and light thank you for watching and i will talk to you all later take care